Good afternoon, Ellie, Maria, and Josia. Today is Tuesday, 4 July 2017. Next will be notes on E string and G string. This is mommy here. In back Next, we're going room. to learn the notes on the E string. Once again, your fingers will fall into the same position they did on the D and the A strings. When you put your first finger on the E string, you're playing an F sharp on the staff, and it sounds like this. Play an F sharp with me. our new F sharp, we can play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Notice that we have a new key signature. Three sharps indicate we're in the key of A major. F, C, and G will be played as F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. Let's play Twinkle together. is another well-known folk song. Let's take a look at the music before we play it together. Notice the dynamic markings. There are several different symbols used to mark dynamics. Historically, Italian words have been used to indicate dynamics. For a soft, quiet sound, a fancy P is written on the music. The Italian word for soft is piano. When playing loudly, the term is forte and is represented with a fancy F. The word mezzo means medium and can be used in combination with piano or forte. To play softly, only apply slight pressure to the bow and also use very little bow. For louder notes, push into your index finger on your right hand to apply more pressure on the bow and use more bow. Let's play this one together, paying close attention to the dynamics. on the E string played with our second finger is a G sharp on the staff. Here's what it sounds like. Go ahead and try it. Whole step waltz gets its name from the fact that each note is a whole step apart. You can see that it will be played mezzo piano or medium soft. Listen carefully as you play to keep all the notes in tune. Wonderful! Just one more string to learn. Notes on the G string. We just learned the 
notes on our highest string, and now we're going to learn the notes on our lowest string, the G string. Our first finger will play a low A on the staff, and it sounds like this. Let's play that A together. Then, with the second finger, we have a low B on the staff, which sounds like this. Play a B with me. The folk tune, O oh Susanna, uses notes on the G string. Notice the word moderato at the beginning, above the first line of music. This means to play with a moderate or medium tempo. Tempo refers to the speed at which a piece of music is played. Let's try it together. You can say the notes as you play if you'd like. This tune starts with an upbeat or pickup note. This is a note that is played before the first full measure. We'll play that first note with an up bow. I'll count off three beats and then we'll play together on beat four, like this. One, two, three. Now let's play the whole tune. to play violin okay for mommy mommy understand very well and mommy will study music at university major of violin and minor will be piano because mommy know violin more than piano she can play piano a little bit and she can play violin more than piano okay and see you sometime. Mami will record this video to into YouTube so you can watch it and Mami will write the notes for you, okay? Mami will write the notes like that. Like that for you in so you can practice, okay? This let me prepare this paper for the notes so you can read the notes and you can play violin better when you watch after you watch this video and you can practice by yourself. Okay, see you, love you, goodbye.